Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. Welcome back to the football. There are three games left in the season and we're going to finish with a European qualification. We've got a 30 goal difference as well. That's nothing to be sniffed at. Uh, we're in fourth at the moment behind Lincoln. Just behind Lincoln. Uh, who are behind Liverpool and we're only four points short of Liverpool. Who are just behind the Leviathans? Well, I mean, anything could happen, but I think we're probably going to finish in fourth. Uh, let's go and meet the fan club. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then let's get on with it. Uh, finance department says something. And the HR says that I should get a chef. You know what? Fine, if that's what you think, then I'll take the meeting. But we haven't got a kitchen, so... Do you know why you're thinking it's a plan? Um, good, right, Jace Robbo. Oh, good. He's, uh, he's learned how to be better at shooting. Super. It was a weakness. Now it's not. He's got free kicks plus. What I would love to know is how to get him to free kicks plus plus. That short passing plus plus. Yeah. Yeah. That's free kicks plus. But I can't, I can't target that. That's a shame. It would be nice if I could. What else have you got going on? Anticipation might not be too bad. Shooting technique might not be too bad. But I'm... I don't think he's ever going to be a shottist. No, short passing. Yeah. Headers. Headers. Yeah. Crossing. Okay. I think I think it's anticipation that we're going for here. Make him an anticipatory player. He's only 20 years old, but he's never going to be a superstar. So I might end up flogging him. You never know. Right. A chef. Now, Shane Doyle here doesn't work very hard. Yep. And he's uh, four-star silver, and he wants 100 Gs a year. Interesting. Rianne Parks, however, works fairly hard, and is a five-star silver. Hmm. What else? Uh, Reese Simpson, he wants the big bucks. He works quite hard indeed, uh, and is after 110 grand. You know what? Fine. Yeah. No, look, here you go. He's, uh, he's 70. How do you feel about that? He'll do 90, okay. Will he do 80? Will he do 85? Almost. I'll pay you 90. There you go. That's fine. Right, we've got ourselves a chef. Obviously, we've got no kitchen, but, I mean, who cares? Bismarck Keith has been injured in training with a concussion. He's only just come back. Yeah, well, there you are. The, here's the Champions Cup semi-final, for those of you who care. Um... Uh, Reims beat Manchester Mayhem 1-0, uh, avoiding an all-English final as the Cougars stuff Krasnodar 2 to nothing. I think we even beat the Cougars once this year already, so that's quite nice. Here's the Rookie of the Month. Heath is in there. Vrabeck's in there. Come on, we can do it. 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 No, we can. Heath is Rookie of the Month despite being injured. Good lad. Well done. That's got to put some more stock in his stock. Someone may come calling. You never know. And, and, and it's going to be a tough one to decide whether or not to keep hold of him. A tough one indeed. Yes. Right, we're off to Sheffield to play the Cambrian Explosion. All right. Okay. Okay. Right, well, Heath's not there. So, I guess Hadzi. Yeah. Or Campo. Play a double up front. Or play a game with Jace Robbo. Ooh, given the goal still out. Yeah, Robbo, you're in. He's going, flipping what? Yeah, and kind of go, no, 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 that's all right. I have high expectations and I expect you to deliver on them. Switch him around the other way. There you go. Robbo does like the right side a little more. There you go. So you put him there. Yeah, I think Velich is a left sided player. You think wrong. Okay, Velich is not a left sided player. Fine. It's a weird-looking lineup when you paint it like that, but uh, that's the lineup that we're going with. How is Drago? 38. And his form still stinks. All right, well, he can come on as a sub no matter what. Okay, yeah, yeah, no need to change the tactics. We change tactics once a season, and then if they don't work, we change them some more until they start working, and then we keep them. Uh, right, they are a slightly better team than us, but frankly, the results almost don't matter at this point. Uh, our own quality again. Let's go. We're mean and got nothing to lose. And money. There you go. Because <laughs> that, that kind of works. Yep. All right. Uh, they've got things underway. Gabriel uh, Polman. 
is uh, taking a corner. It's right in front of the goal. Matter in. Done. Goal. Seven minutes played. And uh, the explosion are up 1-0. We beat them 2-0 in the first half of the season. Souza is getting them moving with a long pass to Polman again. Polman to uh, Solar Catch. Solar Catch dribbles. And from 15, finds the net. Team's not working. It's not working, team. Team, team, team. Everything you think is working isn't working. Uh, Klingbar now with a corner. It's not, uh, it's not time to despair just yet. Here's Duncan. We're back in. Duncan's 16th goal of the season there. And it's now 2-1. All right. Okay, that was, a, that was a belter of a goal as well. Here's Vrabeck with a free kick. He could go for it and has done. And it's saved by Tanner. But hang on. No, nope, they've, they've spun it around. It's going to be a counter-attack. A uh, big hoofing kick up to Solar Catch there. Straight up the middle to Court, who misses. That is the very definition of Route 1 football, but it didn't work for them. Wally plays it out right. Uh, Vrabeck to Dion. Dion over to the edge of the box where Velic has decided to uh, open it up a bit by going far side. Robbo gets a touch, gives it a clean ball. Clean ball, Duncan. That's Eamon Duncan, everybody. Second goal of the game. Eamon Duncan. Remember the name? Well, you should do. He's been on the team forever. Uh, we've got a corner. It's now 2 all, And BDP have clawed their way back into this. Here's Vrabeck. Passing out to Mitchell. It's deflected. And it's an own goal. But it will be Mitchell who put the steam on that one. But he won't get credited with it. Which is a real shame for him. But at the same time, I am going to replace him. Uh, Pullman takes a corner for them. This is going to turn into a goal fest quite quickly. That's another one. It's 3 all. And it's only, it's only just coming up on half-time. How's this one going to finish? Well, it's going to finish around the 90-minute mark, I reckon. Yeah, OK. How's Robbo doing? Well, he's, you know, he's on the field. What more do you want from him? Well, that's a good question. Uh, swap out Dion and bring on Drago. He's not ready yet. Drago can do the 65-minute uh, jiggly bits. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, he totally can. We might give Ziggy a game as well, but we'll see how we're going at that point. Stroll on? Definitely stroll on. Okay. Uh, Wally now playing it forwards. There's Robbo. Robbo with the step over. He's showing a bit of flash. Uh, dribbles the ball, but he's kind of gone a bit far there. Anyway, gives it back to Duncan. Duncan now dribbling it. He's passed it off to Mitchell. What a Just gone outside the post. Mitchell there could have taken the lead back for us. Or given us the lead for the first time. Did we lead briefly in the first half? Uh, yes, we did. Anyway, here's Klingbar. He's passed out to Robbo. Robbo with a craft across. Duncan's on the head. It's the hat-trick for Eamon Duncan as BDP go up 4-3. Uh, Dion has got himself a yellow card for complaining. Don't know why. Nothing to complain about. We're playing rather well here. 65 gone. 70 minutes. We'll make a substitution. You reckon take out Russo and bring in Ziggy. Russo, yeah, 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 okay, that's fine, yeah, Russo, Ziggy, yeah, switch it over, yeah, uh, the Duncan, the Duncan takes the captain's armband, Drago's going to come in as well, that's nice, any more changes, I don't see why we would, we're doing all right, okay, let's carry on then, uh, they've picked up a yellow card for a handball, that should be an automatic goal to us, but it isn't, that's a pity, They've got a free kick from a dangerous position. Might be direct. I don't know. He's played indirect. He's given to Ma, who crosses it out far side to Wilkinson. Bangs it back in. Here's Lewis off his head from three. And that one's gone a very long way. Incredibly high. Missed by an absolute country mile, uh, if that is what you interpret as meaning inaccurate. Uh, Klingbeil to Vrabeck. Vrabeck over to Duncan. Duncan. Duncan over to Velic. Velic crosses it back in. Here's Ziggy off his head. It's only in the back of the net. That's his fourth this season. And uh, Ziggy makes it 5-3. And I reckon we could be uh, we could be about done as we're in the 90th minute. So we're into stoppage time. Ma playing to Baker. Baker crosses it over. Wilkinson on the far side. Pangs it back in. His solar catch. And somebody finally makes a save. Roop keeps hold of that one. And uh, at full time 5-3. Your final score. Billy P's a reign of terror is continuing. And we remain in fourth place. Four points short of first. 
Uh, it's not going to happen. No, it's not, but it's nice. It is nice. Yeah, yeah. We're also nine points clear of fifth. <sighs> Happy days. Happy indeed days. Uh, down at the bottom of the table, Ank United is tied now with Wolverhampton Coyotes. They're both on 36, and this is very big trouble for them. Two games to play. Six points maximum would take them to 42. If Tottenham draw either of their last two games, they're safe. No, they're not necessarily safe, but they're not going to finish in the bottom two. Uh, do you want to do the maths? No, I don't really care that much. Move on then. Okay, but there's some elements of jiggery pokery going on there. In your team of the day is Eamon Duncan, unsurprisingly. Vrabeck is there as well. So is Klingbeil. Excellent. And uh, Duncan is currently lying third in the leading scorers. Strikers. What's the difference? Uh, well, the top scorers are... Oh, I see, leading strikers are just about goals. Top scorers are add your goals to your assists. Yeah, we're not going to finish top of either of those. That's outside the realm of what's possible. <laughs> it just is. Okay, right, good. Yeah, excellent. Uh, Duncan's also about to level up. <laughs> Fab. Uh, Munch and Gladbach want to hire me on a pittance. A million quid. Rubbish. Get out of it. Duncan, levelling up, is now a 10-rated player at 30 years of age. I might have to keep him on the team. I don't think you're going to have a choice in the matter, unless someone offers you silly money for him. Yeah, it's true. But he's there. He's he's reached to level 10. And uh, we now have to face the Starships, who desperately need a win. Desperately, desperately want to win this one. But uh, the odds are not in their favour. We're playing that well right now that I wouldn't I wouldn't fancy their chances. Where is he? Bismarck, go see the flipping fans, would you? And explain to them why it is that you're a big disappointment. There we go. Let's go and talk to Corgol. Tell him to hurry up. Uh, Heath is done for the season. That's it. He's not going to play again this year. Well, yeah. Well, that's, that's, where it is. that's, that's how it goes. Shirt sales this week. Bismarck Heath, because he's a rookie of the something. Uh, where is... No. Didn't Duncan just get a flipping hat trick? Uh, yeah. He sold one shirt. <laughs> he's done... <laughs> Oh, how embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, he's down in the players who... Oh, it's not as embarrassing as uh, as Wally, though. Wow. What's wrong with Wallace? Yeah. People would sooner have a shirt that didn't have a name on it. Oh, that's got to be... Ah, oh, the, the, the disappointment is palpable. Uh, Warbucks wants to talk about a sta stadium sponsorship something. I don't know. Just put it in a diary. Right, what are we doing? Uh, wing attacks and stuff. Yep. Zonal things and counters and... Yeah, 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 yeah. Do all of that stuff. Core, cool. get well soon. Thank you. Also, you're being replaced at the end of the season, probably. Um, just letting you know. Heath, get... Well, I'll write it down. I think that's his like his third, fourth uh, concussion this year. <laughs> It doesn't. It doesn't bode well for the young man. Um, yeah, he he does like to lead with his head on the floor or some such. Uh, Semi final of the Champions Cup. Here's the return game. Uh, Reims have now beaten Manchester and Liverpool have now taken out Krasnodar. So that's your final two. If it happens to come along in one of these midweek sessions, we'll watch it. If it doesn't, we won't. And you'll just have to dream of what might have happened. Uh, we've got a financial someone resign again. I just hired new people. I keep hiring new people, but you keep quitting. It would be less chaotic if you were to stop quitting. Anyway, 12,500 in the crowd to see us take on the Starships. Who is available, who is not on the field? Drago could almost play a half of football, but his form is still terrible. Why would you mess with the format that won you the last game? Put that on the back of a postcard. Uh, right, yeah. Where are we? Uh, they're ruthless. Oh, I'm sure they are. But they're also in danger of being relegated, so we don't care. Uh, we've got six points of Tic Tacs available. Let's spend some of them. We must keep a clean sheet. Yeah. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say must. 
that's a bit strong. We could go, it's a normal match and we'll play professionally. All right? And I say that, but obviously, you know, there's 50 Gs in it for you if we win it. I want as much points as I can get my hands on. Obviously, that makes it more difficult for me to beat this record in subsequent seasons. But hey, eh, it shouldn't be a problem. Robbo's going on a dribble. He's having a shot from nowhere. And predictably, it doesn't really do very much. But uh, but fair play. That's the first shot of the game out of the way. Clean bile now is uh, has given... Robbo's having another shot. That's his second goal of the season. And, uh, and that one was from his front garden. Uh, so we we're up and we're uh, we're rolling. We lost the first leg of this two one, and Klingbar's got us a corner. Okay, right. he's pinged it over. There's Russo on the end of it, and it's a shot. It's uh, saved by Bars, the keeper. All right, okay, another corner from Klingbar. Wait for it. He's bunged that one out to the D. Mitchell to Duncan. The Duncan Golf Fest continues. That's number 19 of the year. Uh, it would be nice to get him to 20 for no other reason than it will get him to 20. Uh, Dion plays it to Wallace. Wallace to Velic. Velic now playing it forward. He's picked off by Ultink, who is a scumbag. And he's just kicked out to the wing where Parker is trying to turn this into a counter-attack. I'm not even going to take a swing at that bloke's name. There's Bruginski playing it back to uh, Felony Lad. Uh, Kitara misses bigly. Big miss from Kitara there. And Radi Nora. What's going on with these names? I don't know. Uh, but there's that's the bloke with the big name again. Gives it to Davies. To Brown. Those are not the names that I'm struggling with. That one's back off the post. They're having another swing. Klingbar gets shot of it eventually. Good work there. Sheffield obviously uh, favouring the players with unpronounceable names unless you really concentrate. Okay, yeah, uh, it's 2-0 at the moment to BBP, and, it, and it's half-time. <clears throat> Mitchell, not a sniff of the goal for Mitchell so far. But, and we don't need him to sniff the goal, we need him to kick the ball into it. Uh, Drago in for Dion, but Dion's fitness is like rock solid. That's not the point. We want Drago to start, you know, feeling it. He doesn't need to feel it, the season's done. We're done here. We're, it's all over. Uh, now it's just about how strongly we finish. It is a little bit. It's not a little bit. It's a lot. Okay. Just leave it alone. I'm just going to leave it alone. All right. On we go. Coming up on 60 minutes played. And no change so far. Now's the time to make substitutions. Drago, get in there. Uh, do you want to play Hadzi? Nope. <laughs> okay, then. I want to... I want another goal from Duncan. Well, wishes and ponies and all of that kind of behaviour. All right. That's uh, 77 minutes gone, and a man with an extraordinarily long name gets a yellow card. That's the third of the day for Sheffield. Velic now picks up a yellow, just so they don't feel so bad. He's a very generous player. Uh, Taylor has played it forward to Barnes. Barnes to uh, Lovrasec. Uh, back to Brown, to Davies, back to Brown. That's it, keep giving it to those two. Dom Rachiva gives it to Barnes. Barnes to Brown. Brown's dribbling. He's going to take it all the way himself. From no distance at all, he finds the goal. And we're only up by one with 83 minutes gone. I'd like to hang on for the win, please. There you go. Sorted. Two on the final score. Uh, revenge over the first leg. And what's that done to the table? We're in third. We're in third. We're in third on goal difference. Okay. Yeah. Stick it, Lincoln. And uh, we cannot make first place. We've got one game left to play. We could. No, we can't make second either. But however, the Cougars have just taken first place off the Leviathans. Ooh, nasty. Yeah. Yeah, we can't make first place. Second place, we won't make because we're nine goals short of being able to beat that out on goal difference. So that's not going to happen. Ho-hum. Bottom of the table check. Ank United have one game left. They need a minimum of four points. They are relegated. They're done. Ank are out of here. Okay. Sheffield to make it to safety. A win takes them to 41. 
Uh, but their goal difference is such that it won't be enough. Sheffield are relegated. Okay, and all that remains is whether it will be Wolverhampton or Tottenham to uh, to be the final casualty in this season's play. And it will cut. I mean, what do Tottenham need? Tottenham need a goal, a, a draw. Tottenham get a draw, they stay up. Wolverhampton get a win, and Tottenham lose, and uh, and it will be Tottenham going down. There you go. That's where the remaining excitement lies in the season if you don't care about the top of the division. Okay. Newcastle should care. They have a potential European spot opening up. Ooh, goody cup drops. Uh, team of the day, Klingbile. Yeah. Anyone else? No. Well, Russo, beg your pardon. There you go. I don't know why Russo's in team of the day, but he is. That's fine. Yeah, good. Be nice to get Duncan one more, one more goal. We've got a tough game coming up. Tough game uh latium i don't know uh they are uh they're, they're trying to hire me they're not paying very much they can go away then uh, it's the villains they're fifth we're third they can't take third office they can't even take fourth they're trailing by that much so this is very much a play for the glory of playing kind of an event how have we lost fans we're playing better than we were last month. We're we're on a winning streak to the likes of which only sandworms have ever seen. Uh, send Heath to go and see the fans. There you go. Uh, and I'll send him some prezies. Yeah. Yeah. Prezzy saying I need a I need a fatter contract. You could go and see the board and go, come on, stump up. I want a million and a half. And I'm being generous. Because it should be more than that. It, you should be paying me a lot more than that. A lot more. Let's go and watch the kids. Yeah. And then let's play some football. Let's play some football. Okay. Finance department says... Bah, 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 bah. Okay. Uh, right. What are we doing? Pressing and counter-pressing this week. Fine. Yep. No, that's a thing that is useful for us. Off to Birmingham to take on the villains. Right you are. Uh, right. Line up. Uh, Corgol is back and available and unhealthy. Right, well, he doesn't need to play. We've got a we've got a midfield that is kind of working for us right now. Um, any other changes then? I think we sell Hadzi. I think we do try and part with Hadzi come season end. But if we list him on the for sale list, they're going to offer us a pittance. Ah, whatever. Yeah, I know whatever. But I mean, it, you know, you've got to observe these things. They're a very, very expensive team. We're a bunch of chances who've just been promoted. Revenge for the cup match. Revenge for the cup match. I want to thrash them. Some most important match. No, you can't do that. Why not? I haven't done it yet. Can't. You're not allowed. Okay. All right. Fine. Let's go. Come on, team. Let's uh, make it happen. Uh, first time around, they beat us 2-0. There's 46,000 people watching the game. It is a sold-out stadium. Scala to Hughes. Hughes to Bobic. Bobic to uh, Horbanenko. And he kicks it wide of the goal. Okay, so far, so good. 35 minutes gone. No sign of any offence yet from, uh, from Bulldozer Power. Um, yeah. In that case, you do need to switch things around a little bit. I do, yes. What are you going to do? I'm going to move Duncan to there. Cunning. Yeah, that'll nearly certainly do it. What about midfield? You could shake things up in midfield a little bit. I could. You know, you could bring in goal in place of Robbo. Goal's not fit enough. Bring on Ziggy in place of Wally. Yeah, all right. Wally's not going to be happy. Stuff him. Uh, anything else you want to change up? I'm, I'm amazed, actually, that we've got Roop in goal. Uh, and he owns it because Isaac is just he just disappoints me every time I play him um, now maybe my expectations for Isaac are simply too high but Roop has been doing the better job and therefore therefore alright Drago you can play the second half uh, yeah anything else well we need to change something if we're going to cut through and, uh, and score goals core goal no score goals ok uh, Velic go centre. Robbo, you're done for the day. Uh, let's bring on Hadzi and see if he can't help cut through a little bit. 
There we go. All right. Play on. We've got a free kick. But this barely counts as a revolution because I've changed up the the, the tactics a bit. Uh, Mitchell Russo. No. No so. No. Runo. Yeah, so that would have been funnier. Uh, if I'd have got there first time, maybe. Kling by on now. Right in front of the goal is Grusso. He's giving it to Drago. No. Dra Drago kicks it towards his hospital room. Um, and that one did not go in. But we, we have a, well, I would say, a slight advantage at the moment. All right, 70 minutes gone. Uh, Campo, you're in. Mitchell, shut up. There we go. Anyone else? No, I'm running out of substitutes. Okay. I'll keep that last one just in case someone gets dinged up. 85 minutes. Here's Russo. Russo's playing it out to Klingbile. Klingbile forwards to Hadzi. Hadzi with the cross. Duncan's at the other end of it. Pings it back the other way. Here is Campo. And he's missed the goal. That's why he's not in the running to be our new striker either. 90 minutes gone. It's 0-0. The final score. Uh, what a season though. BDP ending up with a European qualification in their first year in the Premiership. Well, well, well. Yeah, I know. Remarkable stuff. We finish in fourth. The Lynx has managed to bounce back there. 20 wins out of 38 games. That's pretty good, if you ask me. Uh, down at the bottom end of the table, Ank managed to secure themselves a win. No. Yeah, they, they actually did that. Did they? Who did they beat? Gotham. Uh, Sheffield finished bottom, having just been promoted. That'll be a shame for them. Uh, Wolverhampton couldn't make it work. They tried to make it work, but couldn't, and it didn't. Had they won, they would be up and Tottenham would be down. But Wolverhampton are gone. Ank are gone. And Sheffield are out of here. Sucks to be them. It genuinely does, but it's not us, and therefore I'm fine with that. Jared Russo makes team of the day, but nobody else gets a look in. Okay. And uh, Lisbon wants to hire me. For nothing. Come off it. Just dream on. You've got, you've got more money than God. You could pay me flipping loads. Dion Peltier, the right wing back who I bought a while ago to uh, keep Russo company and is now in the reserves, has leveled up to be oh, about as good as you'd expect. Uh, Kevin Avering has, uh, has leveled up. He's now 14 years old. That's not the bit you're looking at. He's now 4.6 rated centre back, but he's wounded. Oh, that's okay. There's plenty of time for him to be good. Most points in a season, 70 points. Really? Surely we did better than that in lower divisions. But no, I think it counts because of the uh, the premiership factor. Oh, yeah, probably does. Yeah. What else? 77 goals in the premiership. That's over two a game. That is actually quite impressive. Uh, very nice. Good. It's a record. Go on. Fewest goals conceded. Well, I mean, that's happened purely by default, I reckon. Yeah. Anyway, keep the points coming. What else you got for me? That's it. Oh, okay. I was hoping you'd have more points for me there, but no, no, not so much. Okay, right. Well, there we are. Good. Now what? Uh, go see the fans? Sure. Let's go see the fans. Okay. Anything else you want to do this week? No. Have a look at the shirts. Uh, core goal, Bismarck Heath, one and two. Uh, shirt sales for the season, core goal, 321, which really isn't that many. Evidently, we've got a big Turkish following who are really into the core goal. Uh, Ostrander's come in second, Heath in thirds. Mitchell, who will not be our leading striker next season unless things go very wrong, uh, is in fourth. Right. Okay, you doing anything else? No, sir. You reckon I should organise a friendly? I reckon you're wrong. I'm giving my players some time off. Yep, you can do all of that. That all sounds great. Yeah, good. 43 days to the end of the season. Okay, yeah, we can go 43 days. I can I can do that. It won't be too much of a, too much of a strain. Uh, Bernie Crampons has increased his expertise. Ah, that's fabulous. Shane Isaac has been injured in training. Well, that's a close up. Flaming Nora. Copenhagen are offering me three and a half million a year. Boy. Yeah, I know. That one's quite tempting. Well, they've got 101 million uh, team value, which is about the same as my team now. 
uh, and 50 million in the bank. They're not that good, but they really want to do well. Three and a half million. Seven times my current contract, give or take. Yeah, let's say six times for the sake of argument. Well, six times is actually fairly close. Okay, all right, not seven times, it's six times. Yeah, do you want it? It's very tempting, very tempting, but no. Okay, then. Yeah, no, we've got to take BDP to the European glory next season. I don't, I, we're, we're not, we're not there yet. Right, what should we do? Let's go and see the fans. All right, let's uh, send a player, Uda Martin. Fine. Oh, hang on, Isaac's injured. Isaac, you can go as well. Yeah, yeah, big chump. The fan department would love it if you send a player. Well, I'm doing better than that. I'm sending two. So, goody. Uh, what are we doing here? One man, man, man up, man down. Sneaks in again. You know what? Fine. Fine. Given that it has now dropped to the point that we're hopeless at it, you carry on there, you special pickles. Jared Russo's ill. He's got, indis uh, he's got uh, indisposition, which sounds rotten. The European Cup final, the Strasbourg Space Cadets have taken on Barcelona and won it 3-2. That's a result from a game of football. Consulting gets in bed with Porto. Purchase price is 136 million for 15% of the shares. See, that's nothing. That's not 15% of all shares gets you 100 and change. Uh, Liverpool have won the Champions Cup. Yep, there you go. That's that dealt with. Uh, yeah, I'm giving it. I'm going to get a couple of hundred million to. Uh, to just you know smile uh for for the television uh dogan has gone to the ribble raptors next season for 55 million i can't i can't make those kind of bids at the moment because i'm going to money i've spent it all already gabriel christie who apparently is one of my youth players he's 12 and he's a 4.2 rated keeper with a star in his head i might move him into the youth player bunkhouse Here's the rookies of the month. We're not in there this time around. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. And uh, there's the results. It's Symphonicky who's going to be the player of the month. Who does he play for? He plays for Lincoln. Oh, okay. Well, good for him. He's 24. That hardly counts as a youth player. It's a rookie. It's a rookie. Yeah. First season in a, in a whatnot. You think? I don't know, but that's what I reckon. Okay, fine. What are we going to do? Youth players, something about them. Oh, yeah, right. Who's in there at the moment? Furious King is currently in the boarding house. Yes. So is Kevin Avering. Right. Yeah, because we want to nurture the centre-back. Yeah, but that centre-back is two years older than Gabriel Christie, who is going to be a superstar keeper if, if ever we reach that stage. Do you want to kick King out? Uh, no, you know what? I can leave it until the end of the season and then we'll change it up because King will be in the uh, in the big boys league. He, uh, he will, yeah. Finance department says something, yeah. Meet the fan club. Uh, no, I can't be bothered this week. Let's see how it phases them. Right, there's some more training. This is good. Welcome to the World Cup in 2026. Oh, it's potential. There is potential that some of my guys might make the, make a team. <gasps> Who knows? The following players were nominated for national teams. This is seems wrong to me. I've got some core kid play. What, what about core goal? Core goal for Turkey? Surely is a he's a shoe in. Oh well, never mind. No, no, no. That's just it. Didn't happen. Really, I've got some really good players. I don't know what to tell you, but uh, it's not it's not it's not manifesting for you. Well, that's a very that's a that's a shame. We're in a premiership, surely. No, 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 surely about it. <sighs> and the fan number has not changed. So it's just it's, you know, it's disappointing. Yeah, I'll go and meet the fan club. I'll go and yell at them. Why haven't we got more fans? Let's go and try and recruit some fans from Leicester. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll make a difference. How's the shirt sales doing? No change, still banging. Oh no, Heath has sold eight this week. All right, he could have got into the Irish national squad. He's a good team. He is a good team, yes. But I think what they want is a good player. Oh, yeah, all right, I suppose. Now, the organisation suggests a friendly. Yeah, 
know, whatever. And uh, we should have a charity event. That's fine. Well, here's the thing. Having just scraped their way into the Premiership, the Tottenham Neon Knights would like to sign me for next season. <laughs> I bet they would. They're offering nothing. Just a terrible salary. But they have got 680 million quid in the bank. And their team is already worth a fortune. And the stadium is enormous. No, I can win it with BDP. I don't need you people. No, I don't, don't need you at all. I can I can do it on my own with my 12-man roster. I've selected no training. Yeah, all right, they can have a week off, but they're coming back a week early. Because uh, we've got a we've got a serious campaign for serious people to uh, to undertake in our next seasonal defence of the thing. I'll meet the fan club. Yeah, because what else am I going to do with myself this week? Well, avoid the board. I would say, given how far short of our seasonal financial target we are. Yeah, have a summer party. Yeah, woo! All right, yeah, do do that. As long as the board aren't there, that's the important thing. Here's the last 16 in the World Cup. Mexico have beaten England 1-0. Gutting for England. Uh, they'll have torn up every high street in the country around this point because that's what good football fans do, apparently. Uh, Russia beat Switzerland 4-3 after penalties, apparently. Okay, yeah. Uh, Spain have defeated Italy. Italy, not the team they used to be. The United States have beaten the Netherlands 3-0. <laughs> this is a work of fiction. Uh, France defeat Greece 4 1. Uh, Uruguay lost to Brazil 1 0. Uh, Belgium, after extra time, have taken out Argentina. Wow. Well, Argentina are going to burn the entire country down, just like every good football fan should. And Portugal knock out Croatia. Can I get some team lists? It would be very nice to know who's playing for these people. Into the quarterfinals, and France have topped Mexico 3-1. Meanwhile, Russia have taken out Brazil 2-1. Doubtful. Portugal over Spain, 3-1 there. That's fairly normal. The United States over Belgium, 1-0. Yeah, maybe. Um, it's only Belgium. That's true. We've had a bit of stadium done. That's good to see. Uh, the fan club, I, s I sent them some presents. And I imagine, yeah, there you go. There's a bit of the stadium's been done. Great. Next part of the stadium I'm going to build are the uh, are the VIP boxes because we can sell them for a fortune. The US has beaten Russia 3-0. Yeah, okay, that one will allow it. Portugal 1-0 over France will allow that too. What the hell talent is going on in the US? They must have an absolutely crazy team uh, in order to be able to compete at this level. No, oh, I mean, I'm taking nothing away from the US, but their national team really isn't all that. Here's the final. <laughs> and the USA has beaten Portugal 2-1 in the World Cup final. I don't believe that in the slightest. Still, there it is. Nice. It was there in black and white. What are you going to do? I mean, that's that's obviously factual in some fashion or another. Yeah. Yeah, I find that I find that slightly hard to believe. Um, right, go and send the fan club some presents, and then we're into the end of the season, which is the bit we were waiting for. Let's roll. Have a friendly. No. Uh, Fromage Connor wants a salary rise. No idea who he is. So yeah, we'll we'll have that we'll have that conversation. Who are you? I'm a data analyst. What have you done for me lately? Um, you were on twenty two grand a year. You want twenty six? Done. Yep. I don't think you're that that dispensable or indispensable. I mean, therefore, yeah, fine. All right, the vote for the most popular player of the season. It's got to be Bismarck Keith, right? It's not. It's Core Goal. Well, he did sell the most shirts. Um, Core Goal is your most popular player of the year. The part Turk, part Swiss centre midfielder who is going to be battling to keep his position. Oh, there we go. Oh, great. And there we are. Season's over. Uh, I've got 50 manager points. Woo! Next season, I'll have 235 million in TV money. Yeah. Season objective was exceeded by far. Yeah. I'm going to need more money than that. Here's the team of the year. Mitchell. Come off it. 
I don't believe that in the slightest. Klingbile, who apparently plays for someone else. He flipping doesn't. Maybe there's another Klingbile who plays for West Brom. Vrabeck, who plays for someone else. He he just no, he doesn't. He plays for me. Maybe that's where he started the season. Then that is my Klingbile. My Klingbile. I've got four, five players in the team of the year. No. Mitchell, yeah. Klingbile, yeah. Vrabeck. Russo and flipping Shane Isaac. <laughs> I find that I find that very hard to believe. Still, okay, if you say so. Um, yeah. Here are here's the five year assessment. Yeah. Now these are where's the USA in this list? Hold on, we'll find them. These are just European teams. Okay. All right. Okay then. Yeah, there's, I mean, it's important. I mean, you've got a, what is, could, if I mouse over this, will you give me a description of what's going on? No. Just at all, participant seven. That could be the number of leagues participating. Seven leagues, I don't think so. Teams? Teams, the top seven go through. Oh... The top seven do things about stuff. No, oh, I don't know. Domestic uh, thingamajigs. Read it and weep, everybody. Uh, in Scotland, Celtic won the cup, I think. No. Celtic won the league, and the cup was won by the Edinburgh Jesters. Uh, in Italy, it was Torino who won the cup. The Cougars did the double here in England. Uh, Munich did the double in Germany. All right. All right, well, there you are. Yeah. Ah, super. Oh, we're honouring the best goalkeeper of the season. Well, I don't think I've played one goalkeeper often enough for it to count. Crikey, 13.6 rated. He's good. Who does he play for? Uh, them. And that is Liverpool Cougars. Okay. Yeah, all right. They're a good team. All right. Uh, the best goal scorer of the season. Well, that would be the person who scored the most goals, presumably. Yep, it's Dimas... Ah, okay. Who's he play for? He plays for Barcelona. Ah, oh, right. Okay. And uh, player of the year is Jace Flanagan. No, no, he was beaten out by uh, Guillermo uh, Olabega, who is a striker from Spain and plays for Liverpool. This is Liverpool, isn't it? Yeah, that's Liverpool. They all play for Liverpool. Hmm. Getting old, though, aren't they? They are getting on a little bit. Rookie of the year. Oh, Russo's in there. Come on, Russo. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Rookie of the year. Rookie of... No, missed it. Jackie Butler. Who does he play for? Liverpool. Oh. Okay. That's, that's astounding. Yeah. <laughs> it is astounding. Great. Yeah, all right. Stuff you, Jackie Butler. Our club turnover of 171 million is a record. Yep. Yep, I don't doubt that. Yep, that's that's probably true. Hadsley's leveled up. Hadsley's being sold. Uh, anyway, that gave me some more points. How many more points do I need? Oh, 62. Oh, fine, I'm not leveling up anytime soon. Anyone else? Campo's leveled up. Yeah, he's not playing for us again then either. No, not unless it's in a reserve kind of position. Next, Huda Martins leveled up. Yeah, again, we're just talking about backup players here. Just backup players. We're find me a starter. Langhammer's back from loan, and he's leveled up as well. Oh, Langhammer! If only you were better, but you're not. I missed the Langhammer easy goal. Ziggy's leveled up. Ziggy, you're still not quite strong enough. You need to be 10 plus easily. And you're 26 now. You're, you're getting along in the time. Cool goal has leveled up. Ooh. He might not be battling for his position. No. Interesting. Yeah. Cool goal might actually be good enough now. Wow. What a turnaround. What a turnaround. Uh, well, there you go. That's going to wrap it up for the season. And uh, in the, at the start of the next one, we's going shopping. Shopping is where we're going. And uh, I'll just take you through the action points business. I've, I've got some more action points. Should have spent some of those. Ah, it's fine. Yeah, what else? 
Uh, special scene as a bonus. Yeah, there's a bunch more action points for you. Hey. Ah, good. All right, here's the season planning. Ooh. A budget of 335 million. That would. We want to reach position 17. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? It might, it might not. Uh, what if I hit this? You want to hit position 16? And that was worth 16 million quid. No, it's worth more than that. It was worth 16 million quid. Yeah, you were right the first time. I know. Change the budget. Yeah, that affects that. 400 million. Do that. Let's go 17. And let's push this button instead. Oh, no. Hold on. 479 million quid. Uh, however, hold on. There's an action point. You receive two additional negotiation points. Yep, let's go. Keep going. Yep, half, half a billion quid. Yeah. 600 million quid. I could do some damage with that. It's going to involve big changes in the squad. Whew. Okay, yeah. Uh, the goal is still long-term development. Yeah. I want a good balance between offense and defense. Yeah. Everyone gets a chance with me. Probably. Training is only one factor. Yes. And age doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. Uh, it must be... No, 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 no. no. Uh, do we want to go long-term or do we want to improve in the medium term? Oh, tricky. It doesn't, this only makes a difference if we deviate from it. Yeah, we will only sign players who really strengthen the team. That's not true. Okay, we might, we might need some backups. Uh, we'll only sign, sign players if I can sell them for a profit, and that's not true either. Because uh, we might buy in a couple of older players in order to fatten out the roster a bit. One player from each youth age group has to make it. That's, there's no truth in that. Good players will make it. We're a meritocracy. Right. There's that. Shirt numbers. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, you might as well stay tuned. I'm, I'm going to get all of this stuff done. Who's our number one for the upcoming season? Oh, gosh. That is a tricky question. It still has to be Isaac. What's he bad at? He is bad at that one. Three kicks. What's Roop good at? Roop's really great at penalties. Uh, yeah. Golly. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you have to go with a higher level player. Actually, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't, do you? No. Isaac, I'm giving you a different shirt number. I'm thinking 30. Because I'm selling you. I'm going to buy a new goalie. I'm not, I'm not appointing a number one shirt. I'm going to buy a 10, 11 rated goalie. Right, that makes life easier. Ostrander, you're great. Uh, so you can have number two uh, in a minute. Okay, Yuda Martin's got number two. Not anymore. All right, Ostrander, you get number two. There you go. Uh, Yuda Martin on 22. Fine. Uh, Drago, you get number three. There you go. <clears throat> uh, Dion, yeah, you can have 16 if that makes you happy. Russo on six is good. Ziggy on 20. He's going to be sad, but that's fine. Wally with number five. Sorry, Wally. You get 18. I'm going to hire in a number five. Um, you ain't it. Klingbile is on the wing. Yes, he is. Langhammer is not on the wing. <sighs> okay, no. Langhammer, you're out to 21. Klingbile, you get 11. Uh, Right, Vrabeck, you do get you get a starting number. Who loses it? Tricky to say for sure, but I'm going to go with uh, Hadzi. You can't have one, you can't have four or five. They get out of it. Uh, right, where's he gone? Uh, who are you looking at? Vrabeck, four. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we need a number one and a number five. Those we are bidding for. Ah, now, now you're coming into the uh, the midfield dilemma. Corgull is our highest rated player. Oh, right. Indeed, oh. We've got talent up front, but we could swap out Mitchell 
for whoever we can get. Oh dear, Mitchell. Yeah. Duncan's great. He can stay on the team. But do we want to be playing two defensive forwards? Yeah. Okay then. And they're both Irish and therefore they can talk to each other. Well, I, I think everybody kind of talks to each other anyway. Hush. Um, and that's probably about that then. Yeah. No one should have a starting number who I'm not planning to start. Done. We're there. Okay. Good. Right. I've got some shopping to do and some sponsorship type deals, I imagine. I'm going to queue all them up. I've got 600 million quid. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, you reckon I should get training hall level one? Well, let's have a quick look. No, let's do that at the start of the next episode. Let's do that at the start of the next episode. Catch you later, everybody. I'm in Colonel Failure. Thanks very much for watching. Previously, my plan was to now go, well, that's the end of that then, uh, and jump to the new version of the game. However, the new version of the game, uh, with a new database, where we will start off in an entirely different country, but the entire database will have been lovingly created by me, using fictional teams all the way through. But no mention of that's been made yet, so I think we'll do another season where I try and defend my performance here in the Premiership after spending 600 million quid. That's about four or five players, I reckon. Yeah, great. So, uh, so there you go. So that's what's happening next, and we're going straight into it. So enjoy that. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.